Welcome to another episode of DIY Devices. I'm Brett Hamilton. Do you want your TV to sound like this? Or like this? For many of us, watching TV can be frustrating simply because we can't understand what we're hearing. We can't understand the dialogue. I can't understand the actor. You can't understand the newscaster. Well, there's a lot of ways to improve the viewing and listening experience. And today, I'm gonna to show you how easy it is to connect an external speaker, an extra speaker, and in many cases, a better speaker to your television. Let's start with one of the more popular options and probably the one that I get asked most about at QVC, and that is, the Bose Wave music system. This was not designed to be a soundbar for the television, but one of the nice features is that you can connect it directly to a headphone jack on a television and instantly improve the sound of your TV. So what do you need to make that connection happen? It's as simple as one cable and it looks just like this. This is called a three and a half millimeter cable and it's been around for a long time. Sometimes referred to as a mini plug or a headphone plug and it looks like this. The cable itself looks the same on both ends. Let's start by plugging one end of the cable into the auxiliary port on the back of the Wave music system. The correct port is clearly labeled AUX. Then you plug the cable into this opening and plug the other end of the cable into an available headphone port on your television. For many of you, you'll be using this on a smaller television that doesn't have much of a sound system to start with, so it's an ideal solution if you're having difficulty understanding the dialogue. Now remember, once you plug this cable, the three and a half millimeter cable into both the Wave system and to the back of your television, you no longer listen to the TV speaker. Most of the time, once something is plugged into a headphone port on a television, it automatically mutes the built-in or internal TV speaker. I find it best to turn off the speaker on both the Wave music system and the TV, and then adjust your final volume setting using your TV remote. After that, there is no need to use both remotes at the same time. You can now turn the Wave all the way up and then use the TV remote to get the sound as loud or as soft as you want. Now remember, you have to make sure you enable the auxiliary setting on the Bose system to use it with your television. You can do that simply by pressing the little aux button on the remote control. If the wave system is set to radio or CD, you will not be able to hear your television. But you can still listen to CDs and the radio, just not at the same time as your TV. For those of you thinking about investing in a sound bar for your television, much like this one right here, typically there are two ways to connect them to your TV. Let's start with what's called the optical cable. Optical is the digital version of the 3.5 millimeter cable that we just showed you. And they both allow you to connect the TV to a speaker, but the optical cable is a more advanced way of doing this. In fact, most TVs that were purchased within the last 15 to 20 years have an optical input on the back of the device. And the same goes for most sound bars manufactured around that same time. The optical cable, much like a three and a half millimeter cable, has the exact same look on both ends. These tiny little plastic tips light up when you plug them in. You plug one end of the optical cable into the back of a compatible sound bar, right here, and then simply plug the other end into the optical port on the back of your television. Keep in mind, the optical cable will only fit into an optical port. It's impossible to mess this up or plug it into the wrong opening. Also, most sound bars that have the optical option will automatically begin communicating with your television once they're connected. Then you have the luxury of adjusting the volume on your TV, either with the TV remote, or if your sound bar comes with its own remote, that device. The final and most updated version of a television speaker connection is through something called an HDMI cable. And I know many of you recognize this cable as the same way that you connect your cable box to the TV, a satellite box to a television, even a gaming system to your TV. Now, there's another use for the HDMI cable. If your TV has something called HDMI ARC, back where all of your inputs are, it's spelled ARC, A-R-C, well, your sound bar has to have the same option as well. But if it does, the HDMI cable can now connect directly to your sound bar and your television, and the two devices will automatically link together and communicate. It's very similar to the way that the optical cable works between the speaker and the television. The HDMI cable will communicate with your TV and allow you to turn the volume up and down on the sound bar using the remote control that came with your television. So these are the three most popular ways to connect an external speaker a sound bar, a wave system, whatever it might be, to your TV, and hopefully make it easier for you to understand what it is that you're watching. 
As you can see, it's a fairly simple process, no matter which type of speaker you choose. And it's also very easy to decide what type of cable you will need based on the connectivity available on the speaker, but also on your television. So now you can sit down in front of the television, watch your favorite TV shows, your favorite movies, and actually understand what it is that they're saying. Welcome to another episode. And my wife Meg is here to help. Well, this us is a good one. Today, wow. We're it sounds like you're right here in the room with me. We are hopefully going to answer all of your it's questions. because I am. About the magical technology known as We'll see you next time on DIY Devices with Brett and Meg. <laughs>